Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've seen some of my videos before. On today's video, we're going to talk about agencies. Are they better than direct clients? If you're starting out in your online job, online freelancer or freelance job. So today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of applying in a virtual assistant agency. There are a lot of new virtual assistant agencies in the Philippines as of the moment. It makes looking for an online job a lot easier if you get accepted after they interviewed you intensely. IQ tasks, disk tasks, spatial tasks, MBTI, they make you do tons of things. When you go to online jobs that PH, there's literally very few decent direct clients you can get. Most of the time, all of it are agencies. Okay, the pros. Let's talk about the pros of applying for a general virtual assistant agency or for a virtual assistant agency. Okay, first is you will have a guaranteed client. That is a pro. If you pass all of the interviews and the exams, there will be a client for you. They will find one for you. Next one is if you've been hired full time, even if you're doing something or nothing, you'd still be paid. Okay, so a little disclaimer, if you are hired via the agency and the client doesn't have anything that he wants you to do or there are no tasks for that time, you will still be paid because your contract says, like for example, if you sign a contract that's eight hours per day, and if you don't have a task for the day, you'll be paid for the eight hours that you are that you did nothing. Does this make sense? Let me know in the comment below. You will get training, training materials, and support from the agency. They will do everything that they can to educate you, to prepare you for your client. So of working or applying for or being in a VA agency is that you sort of have a sense of community with other virtual assistants in the same agency so you will get help you can ask questions from them if they are have if you are having a hard time about something you have someone that will answer things for you next is they will market you to clients that has tons of similarities to you or match you with the best clients for your skill set your experience and your personality you also get paid on time because the agency will be reminding your client that you have to be paid already. Sometimes the payment comes from the agency, either 1530 or 1025, or whatever it is that your agreement was. Or if your client refuses to pay you, then the agency will come back to them and say, hey, you have to pay her for services rendered or the agency will pay you if your client can pay you. And last but not least, you don't have to find clients and set your rates. So your rates are already being offered when you get accepted and you've had your final interview with your client, they will be setting what rate you are going to be receiving depending on your skill set. Okay, so here are the cons some of the cons of applying or getting in a virtual assistant agency. So make sure that the agency is legit, otherwise you might not get paid. Also, sometimes agencies just pay you for the first like three or four months and then after that you won't get paid anymore for some reason. So make sure that this virtual assistant agency has the capacity to pay you and they have good reviews on their social media next one is you've been matched with a client so you don't have any control on who your clients will be also might be lower rates than you wanted so a lot of virtual assistants are hesitant to work for a virtual assistant agency because as you know the agency would want a, a profit and their people needs to get paid they have overhead expenses and they are putting in the work to find people that would employ you. So if on Upwork you can like appraise yourself into $20 an hour, on an agency you might just be $8 an hour. But 
If you feel like you already have a strong skill set and you're confident in marketing your skills and know where to find clients, then it probably is better to be an independent contractor or like find your own client. Um, you have to be prepared to have your own packages. You have to know what your rates are and you should be able to like write your own contracts. And the last con on my list, if you're going with or to work with a virtual assistant agency is you will be accountable to the client and to the agency. So there's that. Okay, so here are some of the pros of getting a direct client. Okay, so the interview is a lot more relaxed compared to the agency ones. The questions are direct and fast-paced and and you don't have to like do a lot of flowering words, you know, just so you'd get accepted. You'd give them the answer. If they like the answer, they'll consider you. If they don't, then they won't. Next is flexibility. So some clients doesn't care about tracking your work like timers. As long as you finish all of the jobs that are asked of you, then that's fine by them. On the agencies, on a virtual agencies, on the other hand, they are going to require that you have a timer. So they are going to time you and there will be screenshots. Screenshots while you're working or while your timer is on, there will be screenshots of your screen. They will monitor what you're doing. Another pro would be if you've been hired full time, even if you're doing something or nothing, you'd still be paid. Okay, so a little disclaimer. Um, this means that you get paid for existing on those times that your client doesn't have anything for you. So if your client doesn't have tasks for you, then you get paid without doing anything. Usually, depending on your agreement with your client. Does this make sense? Let me know in the comment below. Next pro is if you like working on your own, this is for you. If you don't like the community, if you don't like the chatter, this is for you. You will have to pay for your own training or upskill. Sometimes your client would pay for it. If you let them know, they would be willing to pay for it. And you get to buy the classes that you need or the skills that you need to be paid better like you have the option to do whatever you want all right cons time so these are the cons of getting or looking for a direct client if you're a virtual assistant or if you're working on whatever it is that you are working on online so first thing is you're going to market yourself and find clients yourself so based on my experience lately there are a lot of people that are looking to work from home and you know like stay away from working in the office and stuff like that so you'll have a lot of competition another con is if you work on a project basis you won't have a steady income and that's just sad next is you might not get paid if the client breaks your contract or ghosts you sometimes there are people that will like hire you and then pay you a couple of times and then after that they just be gone like they never existed and whatever work you've done for them is like thank you so sometimes there are also like clients that are scammers but pretends to be like a good client so that would also be a problem if you do like a direct hire and the last con would be there's no community for you to ask questions too if you have any if there are things that you don't know about you wouldn't like read any tips or tricks because sometimes in virtual assistant agencies they have communities that you can talk to other people or other virtual assistants so you can ask them questions if there are things that you're not sure about there are also like quote unquote senior virtual assistants that helps you if you're in an agency but you know, if you are going to like a direct client, then you're on your own. Okay, so overall, based on my experience, if you found a good virtual assistant agency, then stay. One that assures you that they will be giving you another client if your client lets you go. Or if you are incompatible with your client, they will give you another one. 
if you found a decent client who pays you good money, then awesome. Stay. For me personally, I still like the good old direct hire. As long as the pay is decent, I mean, it's decent for me. Not sure what decent for you is. But as long as the pay is decent and the client is legit, then I'm your girl. Most of the time, it's a lot easier to talk negotiations with a direct client than with an agency. And if you price yourself based on your value and what you know and all of the skills that you've acquired along the way, then you might find a client that would like pay you for what you know and not underpay you because they're still paying other people. For sure, there are still a lot of things that are supposed to be here, but these are all that I can think of as of the moment. Let me know in the comments below if you agree, if you disagree, or if you want to add more on the list. In the next video, I will be listing some of the VA agencies that I know, and I'll let you know if they're good or not good based on my experience or based on the things that I've read on social media about them. I'll do some research. Yes, overall, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found value. See you in the next one.